Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since we've gotten a tutorial out. Um, on the weeks that I don't have tutorials, I've been trying to stream on Twitch, um, but things have been pretty hectic the past few weeks, so I do apologize it's been a while. But I've got a few new tutorial requests, so these next few weeks I should have some new videos out for you guys. Um, so today's tutorial we're going to be covering how to change out the eyelashes and eyebrows on your avatar's head. Um, so the person that requested this tutorial is more so wanting to change out the eyebrows. Um, I unfortunately don't have an eyebrow pack. I have eyelashes though. So that's what we're going to be using on today's tutorial. But the process is still the same um, for whichever one you're wanting to change out. Um, this tutorial, let me pull it up, was requested by somebody in my server. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Uh, your name is Renura. Thank you so much for requesting this tutorial, and I hope this helps. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so um, today I'm going to be using uh, Zenpia's Savvy Head. This is what Renura is using, so I wanted to use the same head as they are. Um, they are using a eyebrow and eyelash pack from Nessie. Um, it's one of the newer ones. I believe the one that I have has been taken down uh, since, um, since she had done an updated version. Um, so this one is not quite the same version that you're using, Renura, and I do apologize for that. I don't have the, the new one. I only have the old one. So I'm going to go ahead and import our eyelashes. Give me just a second to find it. And um, something else I do want to note before like we really get into it. Um, if you're using a new eyebrow or eyelash pack that is designed for the same head that you're using. So if you have bought or downloaded a pack that the creator said is rigged and set up, ready to go for, you know, Zimpia Savvy Head, uh, then whenever you merge the armatures, the shape keys um, should merge as well. So you don't really, you shouldn't really have to do anything, honestly, um, if it's for the same head. So like Nessie, whenever she created this pack for all these different heads, she went through and manually edited the, the shape keys ahead of time so that whenever you merge it to the head, um, everything's done for you. You don't really have to do anything. The point of this tutorial is if it doesn't work for some reason, because Blender can be weird sometimes, or if um, you're using something for a different head than what you're using. So like since this is the older one, this was before the Savvy head came out. So this is when the anime head was Zenpia's newest one. So that's what these eyelashes are going to be for, but we're using them on the savvy head. So the heads aren't going to match, so the shape keys won't match. So that's what this is going to going to cover. I'm just going to import it. And, oh, let me turn on my screencast keys. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of move them and get them kind of sort of lined up to where we want them to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can always edit it later. Um, so like I said, on these different, let me just, we'll use those ones. So um, on these shape keys here, um, as you can see, like, well, that's not really a good example, right? They're, they're set to move for like the winking or um, the blinks, things like that, but that's for the anime head. So whenever we merge it, it's not going to work. Um, since we're merging it to the savvy head. Um, so Renura in my server had asked if they need to delete the shape keys for their, uh, since they're working on eyebrows, for their eyebrows before they merge or what they need to do. Um, so like I said earlier, can't stress enough, if it's for the same head, don't delete anything. Don't delete the armatures. Don't delete the shape keys. Just go ahead and merge the armatures and you should be good to go. Um, now, if not, then... You know, you can still follow this tutorial and you can still edit it. You just don't need to delete anything ahead of time um, since it's going to merge. Since these are not for the same head, I am going to go ahead and delete the shape keys. Um, just that way I don't have duplicates, so that way nothing gets overlapped funny or gets mixed in funny. So I'm just going to click this arrow and click delete all shape keys because I don't need that. The weight painting is already set to the head, so that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and merge. Yep, those are right. So I went ahead and merged the armatures, and sometimes it does this. So I'll just click and drag. Alrighty, so this is, here's our armature. Everything's merged perfectly. 
good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these as a separate color. I'm just not going to make them pink. So it's a little bit easier to see. Mm. Just something a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and set the origin and move these. Now, if you want to, um, you can sculpt, you can do edit mode. Go ahead and do whatever you need to, um, to kind of get them like, you know, situated exactly how you want them to be, whether you want them up or down or depending on the shape of the eyelashes or the eyebrows, you know, kind of get them situated where how you want the, the default to be. It's not really too big of a deal as far as like clipping and stuff on eyelashes since they're going to be the same color. Um, but if you need to come in here and kind of, oh, I don't have my proportional editing on. But yeah, you can just kind of, you know, I'm just doing this very roughly just to kind of give an example. You can sit here and adjust them how you need to be. Maybe like move some of these ones since they're sticking up kind of far. Kind of move them down to where it is black so that once they are set um, to a black texture, will kind of blend in a little bit better instead of like right here. That's up a bit high, so I can maybe move that bit down. You know, just whatever you need to do. Um, but go ahead and get them situated to how you need them to be default before you start editing on the uh, blend shapes. So to go ahead and get started, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and merge these. But before I do, let me show you. So in edit mode, whenever you go to shape keys, you just have to click on it and it automatically shows you what that shape key is. Now, whenever you're messing with shape keys, um, you either always have to have it set to one and then do your edits or just honestly and truthfully, just go ahead and go into edit mode. Um, can't really edit shape keys in object mode, especially with it set to zero. So um, make sure that you're clicked on your basis whenever you're getting your eyelashes or eyebrows set to how you want the default to be. And then um, we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode since it, you know, like I said, shows the shape keys and since it's... Um, what you need to be in to let it work. So I'm going to go into here and just pushing L and hovering over my cursor to highlight. And what that does is it's your cursor is like selecting a vertice and pushing L tells it to highlight everything that is linked. So that's what we're doing. And if you ever accidentally like, you know, select like the head or something, just shift L to deselect it. So you're going to want to highlight your eyebrows or your eyelashes, whatever it is that you're working on. And we're going to leave them highlighted for now. So things like the normal facial expressions don't change anything. Ignore the eyebrows changing. I have messed in this Blender project. This isn't like an actual avatar project. This is what I use to make um, assets. So just ignore that. Um, I've messed with this so much. But anyways... So none of this is really affecting the eyes. So we want to scroll down until we find the eyes. So looking up, as you can see, it kind of moves like the eyes up a little bit. So with your eyebrows or eyelashes selected, whatever, um, we'll go ahead and you can, I would suggest um, just this one. If you need to scale, you can scale, you know, you can do whatever. Um, but I would suggest just kind of using the, the arrows if you need to, if you're more comfortable with sculpting, you can um, sculpt blend shapes. That's whenever you would set the value to one and uh, work on sculpting. But with something like eyebrows and eyelashes, I think it's easier to just do it in edit mode because then if you need to, you can always grab a specific vertice um, with your proportional editing on and, and adjust it. And to do what I'm doing right now to where it's highlighting all these extra vertices around and it's not moving those, I just keep connected only on because if I don't, It'll move the head. So if you keep that on, you know, and if you move it in an eyelash or something is acting up down there, you can just move it. So I find um, being in edit mode with little arrows is is most helpful. So you'll just kind of move it to, to how you need it to be, or like right here, like these ones, it's a little a little far down, so may not being the most accurate, but. Just kind of like scooch those up or something. And you will need to do it on both sides. 
So that's pretty much just just the gist of it. Um, before you do small um, edits like that, I would suggest going through um, since that way you don't have to keep going back and forth highlighting everything and just moving things <coughs> kind of in their like general area of how you need them to be and then go through and um, work on like the, the smaller eyelashes or something that you need. Like on here, this would be a little bit bigger of an edit because you're going to need to, instead of making it go this way, you're going to make it then the other way. So it can be a little bit time consuming, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Just go into, go ahead and merge everything. And the reason why you merge it, you can adjust things separately. Um, I suggest merging it that way the blend shapes are kind of already registered for both so you don't have to go back and forth um, so it can be a little bit time consuming for eyebrows it wouldn't be quite as time consuming since you don't have to select so many eyelashes um, I believe Nessie and some other creators have 2d eyelashes so it's just one flat plane that has an alpha texture on it so that would be a little bit faster and easier to, to mess with than the 3d ones but yeah that's kind of just the gist of it so like on the blink ones you would just you know, unselect, maybe click off, and then come through and select whatever side you need and then adjust it from there. Um, and you can ignore that side messing up. Like I said, I've messed in this blender file a lot, so things technically don't work how they should. Uh, but that's on my end. That's nothing against um, or wrong with the, the FBXs. So that's kind of it. You just, you know, for, for eyelashes, eyebrows, whatever. So if you have pout and you want to edit the eyebrows, let's say that this was a different texture pack, you would just do the same thing. Again, ignore that it's doing weird stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, if you have, uh, let's see, what's a good one? Let's come down here. Let's do all sad. So, yeah, you could like, come in here and you could be like, oh, let's like move these up a little bit or something and just kind of keep in mind your sides. Oh, sorry. And like, so you would you would just do that for your for your eyebrows. So the same concept for eyebrows or eyelashes, whatever you're doing, um, just, you know, merge edit mode and then select the shape key that you're trying to edit and edit from there and like I said you can do it in um, sculpting let me find because so if you go into sculpt mode right now it's going to um, well let me not do that let me do this way because I like this look better. so this is where you know tongue right it's gonna affect everything so that's whenever you would want to go ahead and separate so to show you that if you're more comfortable with that I'm just going to separate this so just select it and then hit P by and separate by selection so now this is separate so this is why I was saying like it could go a little so for tongue and then you would have to so I put it on for the face so I can see what it's going to do on the head and then you'll have to do the same thing on the part that you're wanting to mess with this is why I suggest edit mode so that you don't have to go back and forth but if you're just more comfortable with sculpting um, or if you're working on like a head sculpt or something, you'll want to merge like the new eyebrows or eyelashes, whatever it is you're working on first so that the shape keys um, are the same for both meshes. And then um, just like I did here, you'll want to click both of them, set the value to one, and then you can go into sculpt mode and you can edit, you know, something crazy like this. So then now, if I was to merge this back, you can see that it's it's working. So that's why you want to merge ahead of time so that the shape is the same. And then just set one on both and go from there. And yeah, that should be it. So that is how you edit eyebrows and eyelashes for um, really any head, especially if it's not matching, like I said at the start. Uh, if it is rigged and set up for a specific head and you're using that head, whenever you merge the armatures, everything should be fine. Um, you might have to do minor tweaks if you did sculpt the head or something. Um, but other than that, those are kind of all the tricks that I have. Um, using L to select and P to separate is pretty helpful. Um, but yeah, just primarily going into edit mode, sculpt mode if you need to, 
and editing with the shape keys active in edit mode or set to one on sculpt mode. And that should be it. Same process for both eyebrows and eyelashes. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Or if it's um, something that's going to require screenshots, um, reach out to me in my server. And I'll be more than happy to try to help as much as I can. And um, I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been streaming on Twitch lately. Um, I started a kind of sort of new part-time job. Um, so things have been pretty hectic with my schedule. I'm still trying to figure out uh, the best way to balance everything. So for these next few weeks, I'll try my best to get on Twitch at least an hour a week. Um, but if not, then I do have a few more tutorials that got requested here on YouTube. So I'll have those out for you guys next week. As always, if there's any kind of tutorial that you would like to request, um, please let me know down in the comments here on YouTube or in my server. I have a tutorial request channel there as well. Um, and I will do my best to uh, make the tutorial for you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.